Hello, dear viewers, and welcome to a new edition of our program, Africa Today. Prime Minister Dr. Mustafa Madbouli held a press conference following a cabinet weekly meeting during the cabinet meeting and the press conference. They discussed uh, the issue of supporting food security as one of the state's uh, top priority. The state, as the Prime Minister said, is seeking to ease the burden on citizens amid the economic world crisis. The Prime Minister said that they postponed the increase in the prices of any products to six months, adding that they are keen on increasing the local production of wheat during the coming period. Madbouli said that they have not uh, increased uh, the solar prices despite the hike in prices in the energy market and he said that they are following up on the preparation for Eid al-Adha. Earlier today, uh, President Abdel Fattah Sisi and the President of the European Commission, Ursula von der Leyen, held a press conference after elaborated talks that tackled the, the cooperation in energy as part of the regional trip. During her visit, uh, the senior EU official also met with senior Egyptian officials to discuss uh, Egyptian uh, um, European Union relation and regional uh, as well as international issues of uh, mutual concern. The high profile visit uh, came a day before the meeting of the Egyptian EU Participation Council on the 19th of June in Luxembourg to approve the document of priorities for participation until 2027. To shed more light on the issue, we are very much delighted to be joined over the phone by Ambassador Gamal Bayoumi, former Assistant Foreign Minister. Ambassador Bayoumi, good afternoon to you, sir. Good afternoon, how are you? How are you, sir? Fine. Uh, sir, President Sisi held a news conference with EU Commissioner uh, Ursula von der Leyen following a very important meeting that tackled various issues. How important is the visit, uh, the first for uh, von der Leyen to Egypt? Very important. The European Union is our main partner in the political and security dialogue. Hmm. in economic and trade relations, and also in the dialogue among civilizations. And uh, uh, we signed two agreements, as a matter of fact, during hmm. the last uh, many years. In 1996, we started by a cooperation agreement. It was one traffic agreement. They were giving us some privileges without asking something in, in, in exchange. In 2001, we signed the association agreement, which is covering all these dimensions which I mentioned. Hmm. Here, we establish a free trade area where our exports and our imports are exempt from any uh, custom duties or any trade barriers. We have eight uh, uh, subcommittees following what is going on on the agreement, whether in political dialogue on investment, on industry, uh, name it. And now here we have the highest level of meetings between the two yes. presidents. The president of the EU, she is in mm. the rank of the prime minister of the 27 countries, and our president, of course. Indeed. Uh, Sir, uh, President Sisi and the top EU official discussed the energy cooperation and an agreement with Egypt to export the natural gas to the energy-hungry Europe. How do you see this agreement and how would it help with the ongoing energy crisis in uh, the aftermath of the Russian-Ukrainian war? This is a very important uh, side of our relations yeah. because recently Egypt had uh, a lot of discoveries in the uh, eastern uh, of, of the Mediterranean, and uh, we have surplus of gas. More than right. that, that we have two factories, one in Damietta, the other in Rashid, to yeah. liquidate the gas. This is a, a big value added to this product. Yes. Another dimension that Egypt, with the Arab world, is uh, yes. establishing one of the largest projects in energy in the whole Arab world, which is a, a connection of the electric net, mm. starting from Baghdad in the Far East up to Casablanca in the Far West, connecting Egypt to Sudan, with uh, uh, Ethiopia, with uh, mm. Congo, 
with Tanzania, then we, we, we shall have a surplus of hmm. electricity. And on this point now, while I'm talking to you, hmm. we are establishing a, a, a electric line to Greece and to uh, Cyprus. And from there, we hmm. shall give Europe our surplus of uh, electricity. Also, the gas line will start to serve both ways, whether hmm. uh, uh, to, to import their gas and export the gas in a sort of uh, liquid gas. Many, many dimensions of these relations. And the, the, hmm. the most important thing which uh, the president of the European uh, Commission uh, hmm. that is given today a, 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 a gift to Egypt to help Egypt in this crisis of the food by 100 million euros uh, a mm. grant to Egypt to buy whatever we need of food industry. Mm. Yes, indeed. The, so, sir, the president also described Egypt's relation with the EU as strategic and praised the developing bilateral ties with the pan-European body. What's your take on that? Of course, uh, now the European Union is occupying 30% of our trade. Yeah. It is our main economic partner, our main investor in Egypt. We have investment in, in countries like uh, uh, Germany, France, Italy, hmm. with the huge figures. Yes. Uh, uh, we are talking here about electricity, about hmm. uh, the telephones, our railways, name it. And hmm. one project, I, 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 it is dear to me because I was yeah. so close to it, which was building capacity of the Egyptian government yeah. institutions. We started by the post, we started by the maritime safety, the yeah. tourism, name it. It's almost 300 Egyptian uh, authorities, which we help them to uh, develop themselves up to uh, uh, the international yeah. level of standards. Many things are uh, connecting us, and I think that still we have mm. many dimensions to make this relation even more closer. Yes. Would you please, uh, Mr. Ambassador, shed light on the energy deal and its huge benefit to the energy sector in Egypt? Uh, it is, it's, uh, the, the good thing that is a balanced deal. Europe now will face a, a, a sort of anger to uh, energy yeah. because the, the, the bad situation and the bad relations with Russia yes. and the situation in the war in Ukraine. Yeah. So uh, they decided not to import any electricity uh, or gas from mm. uh, uh, Russia. Yes. And uh, uh, because of that, they need our energy, whether electricity or gas. Hmm. On the other side, they will help us to cover our needs from cereals and food. Hmm. Uh, so it is a balanced deal which every, every side, or each side will benefit from it. Yes. Sir, also the EU Commissioner mentioned 100 million euro funding allocated to help Egypt alleviate the impact of the soaring food uh, prices. What's your comment on that? Yes, yeah, this is the point, and she, she declares a, a grant of 100 million yeah. euros to help Egypt. It's a grant, not a loan. And of course, we can buy wheat from everywhere. Uh, of course, I, I, I hope that we shouldn't exaggerate about this problem, because of course, hmm. uh, according to the figures, yeah. we are importing 80% of our needs from hmm. Russia and Ukraine. Hmm. But if you go ahead with our uh, history, Yes. You find that we, we, we used to import mm. uh, wheat from uh, United States yeah. by huge quantities from France. Mm. I personally used this to make France uh, make good deal with us in other dimensions because mm. uh, we are a buyer. And uh, because we are a buyer of wheat, the, the largest buyer in the whole world, mm. this puts us in, in a good position in order to get a good bargain in mm. many other uh, deals. So I am not worried, frankly, mm. in the uh, medium term or the long term. Yeah. Maybe we have a shortage in the short term and we shall cover it immediately. 
with the help of all our friends. Indeed. Uh, Ambassador Gamal Bayoumi, former Assistant Foreign Minister, thank you very much for your precious input. Always a pleasure to have you with us. Indeed, uh, President Abdel Fattah Sisi held a joint press conference with President of the EU Commission, uh, Ursula von der Leyen, on Wednesday. In his statement, President Sisi said that the talks tackled means of boosting cooperation between Egypt and the European Union in various fields, mainly the energy. The President said that the meeting discussed means of facing the repercussions of the climate change and focused on the several international files, including the Ukrainian crisis and the world economic challenges. As he reiterated that they also agreed on continuing consultations over facing terrorism and illegal migration. Meanwhile, von der Leyen said that the talks touched on ways of enhancing local food production amid world food crisis and affirmed that the EU will provide Egypt with more than 100 million uh, US dollars to solve the issue. She also stressed keenness on bolstering relations between Egypt and the EU in several domains during the coming period. Well, our dear viewers, with that, we come to the end of this edition of Africa Today. Many thanks for watching.